fall open house. My name is Brent Lemos. I'm the Director of Admissions at Damien Memorial School. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our campus virtually. It is our custom at Damien that before we begin anything, whether it be in a class or lunch or an assembly, that we start our evening with a prayer. So here to start uh, our open house with a prayer, I'd like to introduce a member of our student government, senior Ariana Gonzalez. Ariana? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for gathering us here on this Damien Open House evening to allow our prospective students and parents an opportunity to learn more about our Damien community. We thank all of those who plan this event, our administration, faculty, staff, and students, and all of those who have taken the time out of their busy schedule to be here tonight. We ask that you bless our time this evening, that it it is productive and meaningful for all of those who are in attendance and that all of our new families get a feel of what makes Damien such a great school. Please let this evening aid our prospective students and parents in making informed decisions about their future. Bless our interactions, bless our conversations, watch us this evening and keep us safe during our time here and on, on our journey home. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Ariana. Ladies and gentlemen, to formally start our program, uh, members of our administration would like to welcome you to Damien as well. So to start off, I'd like to introduce the president of Damien Memorial School, Dr. Kyle Adabe. Dr. Adabe. Good evening and aloha. My name is Dr. Kyle Adabe and I'm the head of school here at Damien Memorial School. I would first like to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us this evening. Although the virtual environment could not possibly provide you the same experience that an in-person visit could, I know that we have prepared a program that will provide you with just enough detail to help you understand that Damien is a great choice for your son or daughter for next fall. We are a private Catholic school steeped in the traditions and selfless works of St. Damien of Molokai and Blessed Edmund Rice, founder of the Congregation of Christian Brothers who opened our school in 1962. Through both living and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and preparing our students for the challenges in their future, we are very proud of the well-rounded educational experience that we can offer to your family. As a proud alumnus of the class of 1984, I am very well aware of the the benefits of a Damien education. I'm honored to stand in the doorway between Damien of yesterday and Damien tomorrow. And everything that was done in order to create Damien from its humble beginnings all the way through to today as I lead the school and our graduates into their future. So once again, thank you for joining us this evening and I do hope to see you on campus next fall. Aloha. Thank you so much, Dr. Adebe. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Dean of Academics, Mrs. Gail Vanatta, who would also like to welcome you this evening. Mrs. Vanatta. Mahalo. Aloha and welcome to our Damien Memorial Open House. My name is Gail Venata and I am the Dean of Academics. We are pleased that you have taken the time to join us to learn about the Damien difference. What is the Damien difference? What distinguishes Damien Memorial from other independent schools? Like other independent schools, Damien Memorial offers a college preparatory program from honors to advanced placement courses. Damien Memorial proudly boasts that more than 98% of our graduates continue on to four-year colleges or universities. The profile of a Damien graduate is a student who is prepared to excel in higher education and ready to meet the challenges in their future. Employers are seeking candidates that have good character qualities, such as honesty, loyalty, a good work ethic, and an ability to think critically and work collaboratively. These are the character traits that we seek to foster at Damien Memorial. That is the Damien difference. The Damien difference can readily be seen in the moral character of our students, in the way they interact with one another, with their teachers, and how they demonstrate their faith within the community. Theodore Roosevelt said, to educate a person in mind and not in morals 
is to educate a menace to society. Think about that. To educate to the mind, but not to morals, is to educate a menace to society. Very bold words that continue to resonate today. That is the Damien difference. An emphasis on educating the whole child, educating to the heart. Damien Memorial offers a traditional Catholic value-centered education. Our staff are dedicated to developing the whole child by fostering spiritual growth and emphasizing the importance of elevating society through faith, volunteerism, and philanthropy. So what is the Damien difference? If you want a quality and challenging college preparatory education, that is the Damien difference. If you want traditional Catholic values at the core of your child's educational experience, that is the Damien difference. If you want a program that educates the whole child and promotes character and service, that is the Damien difference. If you want a program that focuses on 21st century learner skills to help your child meet the challenges in the future, that is the Damien difference. If you want to experience the Damien difference, we invite you to join our school community and be part of this great legacy of excellence and service. Mahalo for joining us. If you have any questions, please reach out. Until then, ahui ho malama pono. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mrs. Vanata. And last but certainly not least, uh, the third member of our administration who'd like to welcome you this evening is our Dean of Students, Ms. Nicole Paishan. Ms. Paishan. Thank you, Mr. Linos, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to Damien Memorial. I am Nicole Paishan, Dean of Students. It is good to have you virtually with us this evening to share with you a glimpse of who we are as Damien Memorial Monarchs. I am blessed to work with a dedicated faculty and staff who create an atmosphere to set our students up for success and who truly care about who is sitting in their classrooms each day and how blessed we are to be back on campus this year as a school community. More than having the opportunity to work with the faculty and staff, I am truly humbled to work with such amazing students and families. I am a proud product of Catholic education here in Hawaii and have worked in the Catholic school system for the last 16 years. The students here at Damien Memorial are among the most caring, compassionate, energized, and driven students I've had the pleasure to work with. They make me laugh on a daily basis, and more often than not, I learn a valuable lesson from them. Damien Memorial Education prepares students with not only the coursework, but the skills and confidence to be college ready and able to handle any challenges that may come about in their future. Because of our tight-knit community, where we provide a safe, nurturing, faith-filled and supportive environment, it's not unusual to see faculty and staff interacting with students during break periods while eating breakfast or lunch in the cafeteria, during after-school tutorials, or at the many events and sporting showcases held here on campus and around the island as the state reopens. Student life on campus is bustling with the many club opportunities available, as well as the driving force of our student government to create fun and memorable experiences for us throughout the year. The expectations of our Damien Memorial students are high. Respect, responsibility, and community-mindedness, sharing in the same vision and mission of the Edmund Rice Christian Brothers and the example set forth for us by Saints Damien and Saint Marianne. Our motto, Viriliter Age, act courageously, means being at your best, always showing respect for yourself and others, reaching out to those in our community in need, and being able to empower others through your words and actions. Every year at graduation, as students receive their diplomas, ready to embark on their futures, it is with great pride that we look at them and know that they are now filled with the necessary skills in order to reach their goals, to explore their passions, and to become meaningful community members wherever their lives may take them, truly modeling and living Viriliter Age. I am so grateful to have had this opportunity to speak with you this evening. I encourage you, if you have any questions, please stop by our website at damien.edu. And don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to answer your questions and have you learn more about our school community. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Mr. Limos. Thank you so much, Ms. Paishan. Ladies and gentlemen, I firmly believe that the greatest testament uh, to the value of a Damien education are our alumni. 
as they graduate from Damien and they go on to do great things uh, in college and beyond with their careers, starting families, you name it. We're very blessed tonight to have two of our recent graduates from Damien who are willing to come uh, take time from their busy schedules to share a little bit about their experience at Damien and how it got them to where they are today. Uh, we have Leah Kayanan from the class of 2018 and Mason Dawang from the class of 2019 who are currently uh, at Gonzaga University in Washington and they're going to share a little bit about their experiences. I'm not sure of the order, but I will defer to them right now. Leah and Mason. Thank you, Mr. Lumos. Uh, aloha and good evening. Uh, my name is Mason Royce Dewong, and I am a Damien alum class of 2019. And I'm currently a junior at Gonzaga University located in Spokane, Washington. I am double majoring in criminology and sociology on an academic scholarship. For some, going to school can seem stressful, scary, tedious, or nerve wracking. And to be honest, I still share some of these sentiments. These feelings are inevitable for students, so don't feel alone. However, one aspect that Damien embodies is community. My time at Damien was very enjoyable from the administration, respectable faculty and staff, students and parents. It was with these members of that fostered a community mindset within the students, while also showing us the importance of several virtues, such as respect and responsibility. It was also those very same faculty and staff that were involved and supportive of our dreams, pushing each one of us to reach our full potential. Believe me when they say, sorry, believe me when they say that they want to see their students succeed. Being a reasonably sized school, student life is easy to adjust and to always, and it was always exciting. From interacting with peers in classes or playing on sports teams, being involved in all these various extracurriculars allowed me to create lifelong friendships within these tight knit communities. For me, Damien was more than a school. It was a place where I got to learn, grow and mature. From academics to spirituality, it was within, it was, it, oh, sorry, it was within these four walls that challenged me to shine every facet of my identity. I learned valuable lessons there and was quite literally my second home, if you really knew me, where I felt belonged and cared for. Damien provided me with a quality education that prepared me to further attain, a, further to attain a higher degree. With the resources, encouragement, and guidance, I was able to enjoy. I was able to apply to out-of-state institutions in which I was offered academic scholarships to all the colleges that accepted me. I was very ambitious and wanted to challenge my and to, I was very ambitious and wanted to challenge myself to expand even more of my identity and test my own reaches of the world with the skills Damon provided me. It was because of Damon's support and education that I am at this point in my life. At, um, I hope tonight's open house will allow you to see a glimpse of what Damien Memorial School gifted me. To all prospective students and parents, I wish you the best of luck with your school admis admissions process. Thank you, take care, and have a great night. Rola Taraje. Hi, my name is Leah Kianan. I am a Damon alum, class of 2018, and was invited to share a little bit about my experience at Damon Memorial School. First, a little bit about where I am now. I'm currently a senior attending Gonzaga University in Washington State on academic scholarship. I'm a business administration major with a triple concentration in finance, marketing, and law and public policy. I'm involved in the Hawaii Hawaii Pacific Islanders Club, Praise and Worship, Gonzaga Women in Business Club, Investing Club, and Alpha Pi Phi. This past summer, I interned in Los Angeles with PepsiCo and was offered a full-time position post-graduation. And I can wholeheartedly say that all of these accomplishments and ambitions were seeds planted during my time at Damien. I acknowledge that it was the support of my teachers and mentors who believed in me when I hardly believed in myself. And if there's anything absolutely anything I can get across, it's that Damien is a place of community. I fell in love with my time at Damien because of the people. I've never felt more supported, encouraged, and believed in, 
all things so crucial to a young person's success in academia, personal, emotional, and spiritual growth. I truly believe that you are a product of your environment, and I believe that Damien created one that pushed us as students, as athletes, and as leaders in the community. I would easily call my then teachers and then classmates my now family. During my time at Damien, I was a student ambassador, student council member, morning announcer, glee club president, music minister, and canoe paddler, bowler, and thrower. Not only is Damien a place full of opportunity with something for every student, but it's also a community of people that encouraged me and pushed me and supported me to be successful in all of these endeavors. I was surrounded by teachers who really wanted to see me succeed in and outside of school. Teachers who I still keep in touch with, ask for advice, get lunch with over winter breaks, and that have even sent me a box of donuts on my 21st birthday. Damien Memorial is the community I'm still very much a part of, full of people who are still pushing me to be my best and helping me succeed. Aside from a community that shaped me into the woman that I am today, Damien was also a place that challenged me academically, encouraged my growth spiritually, and inspired me to chase my biggest dreams. And of course, for a school that has given me everything, it's important to give back. I serve as the alumni leader of the Damien Inclusion Network, a mentorship program that I'm piloting with Mr. Balmores, and the support of a network of Damien alumni who also want to give back. It's an extracurricular program that allows students a space for social advocacy, volunteer and passion projects, as well as networking opportunities and mentorship with an association of alumni mentors. I cannot begin to tell you enough good things about Damien. And no, I was not paid to say any of the aforementioned. Um, I'm extremely honored to be able to speak here to you guys tonight on behalf of an institution that I, that I will always love, support, and call home. I know so many things go into choosing where you will be for the next four years, but I also know it would be a choice that I would make a million times over. Thank you so much for listening and Varela Taraji. Thank you so much, Leah and Mason. Uh, I know it's three hours ahead for you, so we will let you uh, graciously bow out and get some rest because I know you have school tomorrow. <laughs> um, so ladies and gentlemen, um, I know for a fact as parents, you'd love to hear a parent perspective and, and kind of hear what the Damien experience is as a parent. Um, here tonight to talk about her experience as a parent, we have Crystal Ponce Ponce, who's actually the mother of Haley Ponce Ponce, who's a senior at Damien and has been at Damien since middle school. So I'd like to introduce Crystal to share a few words about her experience with Damien. Crystal? Hold on. That was definitely a mom move. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Crystal Ponce Ponce. Thank you so much, Brent, um, Mr. Lemos, for having me um, speak on behalf um, of the parents here at Damien. Um, like he mentioned, I have a daughter, Haley Ponce Ponce, who is now a senior. And she, um, I think we've just grown with Damien as they integrated girls into the school and saw so many way, you know, so many transitions. And I think as a parent, the experience has just been so beautiful in a way that I got to watch Haley grow, not only, you know, academically, but spiritually, socially, athletically in her own, in her own right. And um, when I was transitioning between schools and as a parent, I know how um, stressful and, you know, the, opportunity that the, the school applications can be, whether it's private schools and public schools, girl and boy and sports. Um, I made that decision when she was transitioning into middle school and found it the right fit. Not only um, the curriculum was something that really spoke to me, but I loved the values and the integrity and the things that they instilled in our children and allowed them to still really grow and flourish and um, to be successful and kind of really root into their core as a whole rounded person. Now, you know, a lot of the high school, you know, from middle school to high school and it being so private has been um, a good community for Haley. She does love her colleagues, uh, her friends, and she's just made kind of just this place for herself that's her own. And um, 
And that's kind of a place where, you know, it's her world and I trust that. And I'm so grateful for the staff and the teachers and the, the you know, the, the places that she was allowed to grow. And she does love the athletic program. She now is a varsity volleyball player. And um, without that, she started really late in life. And it took a coach or a staff member that really took her under the wing to open those doors. And now um, she's flourishing into that. And we're going into college and seeing her in this opportunity to move into the next step forward. And there's no doubt as a parent that I I mean, I think as a parent, we're you know, always afraid of what that next step is, but we're very, I'm very confident that whatever that decides and what God leads, it opens that door for her in college or professionally, she's guided with the same core fundamentals to see as a person who can serve others and her community and succeed well-roundedly. So thank you so much to Damien. Um, it's definitely been a special place for our for our life for a very long time. And it's more than just a school, it's a community and a family for us. Thank you so much, Crystal. And <laughs> Crystal's still at work. So we I'm still at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Hawaii Theater filming a show. And, uh, um, but I'm again, very grateful to be able to speak on behalf of the parents. And I think there's one thing I love is also the other parents that I got to grow with in this whole course has been a whole community. So, you know, anytime I get a chance to give back, I, I am more than happy to. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Crystal, for joining us this evening. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, parents, prospective students, I know for a fact that many of you have probably never been to the Damien campus. And I know this is a virtual open house, but we wanted to do for this next step, we want to do our best to give you a virtual tour, a live virtual tour of our campus. So we have members of our student amb uh, ambassador program who will be giving you a tour of the various buildings on campus, kind of sharing a little bit about our programs, our facilities, some of the things we have to offer. To start off the evening, I'd like to introduce senior Emily Brown, who will be giving you a tour of our welcome center where all our administrative offices are. Emily. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Emily Brown and I am the class of 2022. I've been attending Damien Memorial since the ninth grade. Before we take you on the tour, let's start off with a little history lesson. Damien Memorial School was founded in 1962 by the Christian Brothers, a Catholic religious order with 17 schools across the United States and Canada. We were originally an all boys school, but transitioned into a co-educational institution in 2012. We are Catholic college preparatory middle and high school, grades six through 12, and our population is roughly 600 students per grade for the, not per grade, it's just 600 students for the 2020 to 2021 school year. We average 60 students per grade in our middle school and 125 students per grade in our high school. The building I'm in right now is our welcome center. You take a look around. <laughs> And it was originally the residence for the Christian Brothers when they taught here at the school. Today, it houses our main office, as well as the offices of our head of school, assistant head of school, business office, admissions office, development and advancement offices, alumni relations, as well as our faculty lounge, logo shop, and several conference rooms. Thank you, everyone, for having me. And this is the Welcome Center. Back to you, Mr. Limos. Thank you so much, Emily. Ladies and gentlemen, um, whether you know it or not, Damien is a Catholic school. Um, it's something that is integrated into our school community. Um, for those of you who are not Catholic or not familiar with uh, Catholic education, uh, it might seem kind of daunting or it might make you a little apprehensive or nervous. Uh, here to talk a little bit about our Catholic identity, kind of how our Catholicity is integrated into our program, as well as show you um, St. Damien Chapel I'd like to introduce Arimathea and Ruel. I'm Ruel Rivera, class of 2023. I have attended Damien Memorial since the sixth grade. And I'm Arimathea, also a junior here at Damien, and I've attended Damien since the ninth grade. We are here to share with you one of the most special places on our campus. The building I'm in is called our St. Damien Chapel, and you can take a look. It is named after a patron saint, Damien of Molokai, who was canonized as a saint in the Catholic Church in 2008. Damien is a Catholic school, and it is something we're very proud of. 
It is reflected in our curriculum, our everyday practices, and extracurricular activities. Students take religion or theology every year at Damien. Prayer is said to start the day before each class or activity and before lunch. We have liturgies or prayer services each month corresponding with the Catholic liturgical calendar. We also have several retreat programs and community service programs for the various grade levels. While we are a Catholic school, students of all faiths are welcome here. Roughly 60% of our students are Catholic and the 40% of our students are of other faiths or religious denominations. You can learn more about our religious programs by joining the religious Zoom breakout room after, the, after this portion of the program. Back to you, Mr. Limos. Thank you so much, Arimathea and Ruel. Parents, students, uh, probably the main factor in choosing a high school is, or even a middle school, is the academic program. Obviously, when you go to school, you want a good academic program. Um, here to talk a little bit about our academic program, what we have to offer, Damien, as well as show you one of our classrooms of, I believe, one of our science labs, I'd like to introduce senior Christopher Paderis. Chris? Hi. I'm Chris. I've attended Damien Memorial since the ninth grade, and I'm a senior now, class of 2022. I, right now, I'm in one of Damien's science labs in the Weinberg Foundation Wing, and I'd like to talk to you about a little bit more of our academic program. As mentioned earlier, Damien is a fully accredited college preparatory middle school and high school. We are accredited by the National Catholic Education Educational Association, sorry, and the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. We boast a 98% college placement rate among our graduates. We have over 30 fully air conditioned classrooms, all equipped with 65 inch televisions and Apple TVs synced to faculty computers and iPads for an integrated learning experience. Our students are issued a MacBook Air and we use eBooks instead of traditional textbooks. We require 26 credit, credits for graduation, as well as 30 hours of community service annually for high school level. And our dress code, once traditional shirt and tie, has adapted to our move to go co-educational. And now students wear dry fit polo shirts, khaki shorts, or plaid skirts, and athletic shoes. You can learn more about our academic offerings by joining the subject area room following this portion of the program. That's all from the classroom. Back to you, Mr. Limos. Thank you so much, Chris. Parents, uh, students, uh, I think it, it goes without saying that athletics plays a major role in student life. Students love to have a healthy mind as well as a healthy body. They love to be involved in sports. They like to play sports. Um, so here to talk a little bit about our athletic program and also show you one of our bigger, actually probably the biggest building on campus, which is our gymnasium, I'd like to introduce Kahiao and Ayani. Kahiao, Ayani? Hi everyone, I'm Ayani Park, class of 2023. And I'm Kahiao Ayani, a current senior here at Damien. And we'd like to show you one of, the, one of our most popular buildings on campus. Welcome to Bishop Scanlon Gymnasium, which seats a thousand people and has six baskets, allowing for two full courts simultaneously. Damien is in the Interscholastic League of Honolulu, which is comprised of almost all the private schools on the world. We field athletic teams in 17 island sports, including football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, soccer, wrestling, tennis, canoe paddling, golf, bowling, swimming, cross country, track and field, judo, and cheerleading. Our teams are competitive. Our girls volleyball team is currently ranked number one in the ILH Division II. And last year during the pandemic, because there was no state tournament, our boys volleyball team took first place in ILH. Our boys basketball placed fourth in the state two years ago in Division I and took first in the state three years ago in Division II. Our girls volleyball team took first in the state last year. Our boys bas baseball team took first in the state three years ago. Our boys football team was at least champion for three consecutive years from 2015 to 2017. Our gym is open to students before and after school unless our various sports teams require use of the court. There are classrooms upstairs for various PE slash health courses as well as a studio for hula hala. You can learn more about our athletic program by joining the athletic Zoom breakout session following this portion of the program. Back to you, Mr. Limos. 
Thank you, Kayao. Thank you, Ayani. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the next building on campus is kind of the unspoken most popular building on campus. And that would be our cafeteria because our guys and our girls, they love to eat and our cafeteria serves great food. So here to talk a little bit about our cafeteria, show you the cafeteria building and kind of some of our offerings, I'd like to introduce Ariana and Alan. Hi, I'm Ariana Gonzalez, a senior class of 2022 here at Damien, and I've attended Damien since the ninth grade. I'm Alan Teralba, a junior here at Damien, and I have attended since the eighth grade. We're now in the Damien cafeteria, which seats 360 students and has three lunch periods daily. To accommodate safety procedures, our first lunch period is for our middle school, and the next is for freshmen and sophomores. And lastly is our juniors and seniors. To practice social distancing, we hold a four people per table with shield dividers between each student. We have our own cafeteria staff, which provides hot meals daily. Our lunch prices range from $2 to $5. We have pizza, locomocos, fries, churros, bentos, and a special that varies daily. We have a point of sale system where parents can load money into their child's account. Students may purchase lunch by scanning their IDs and prices deducted from the online balance. Lining the walls of the cafeteria are several vending machines offering healthy choice options for purchase as well as the standard vending machine offerings. The cafeteria is open during before and after school. And in the mornings, the staff also serve full breakfast menu. Back, Back to, to you, Mr. Thank you so much, Alan and Ariana. Amazing job. All right, uh, parents, um, I know for a fact that when people drive by Damien on Hoff Tailing Street, they think Damien is a small campus because literally it starts from one end of the parking lot and it ends in our gym and it looks fairly small. But what you don't realize is our campus goes back eight acres towards the back of our campus, almost like a giant rectangle. I'm here to show you a little bit about our back of our campus. Um, some of the buildings are 300 wing, our 500 wing for our middle school, our football field. I'd like to introduce Isaac Noguchi. Isaac? Uh, hi everyone, I'm Isaac Noguchi and I am a junior at Damien, class of 2023. I've attended Damien since the ninth grade and I'd like to show you, and I'd like to walk you through our 300 wing first floor hallway to show you some highlights toward the back of our campus. So the 300, uh, the three-story building behind me is the 500 building, which together with the 400 wing and first floor of the 300 wing is primarily where our middle school students, grades six, seven, and eight attend classes. The 500 building houses our IT slash tech center, digital photography class and lab, counseling offices, <coughs> college counseling center, library, and monarch room. Our 500 building even has its own science lab on the first floor dedicated to middle school science. Now, it's a little dark, but the 300 building overlooks our multi-purpose athletic field where our football, soccer, track and field, and cross country teams hold practice while in season. And alongside me is our hill overlooking our field with cement bench seating actually built into the hill for spectators and parents who wish to watch their children's sports practices. So, so that's a little bit about some of the facilities we have for the back of our campus. Back to you, Mr. Limos. Thank you so much, Isaac. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to showcase our newest building on campus, which is the Clarence T.C. Ching Athletic Building. Uh, it's at the back of our campus, and we have two of our seniors who are going to show you some of the facilities, kind of, kind of some of the features of that new building. I'd like to introduce Amber and Johnny. Amber, Johnny? Hi, good evening. My name is Amber Godfroy, and I've attended Damien since the ninth grade, and I'm currently a cl I'm the class of 2022. Hi, I'm Johnny Beetham. I have attended Damien since the ninth grade, and this is my favorite building on campus. We're currently in the T.C. Ching Athletic Building. The Clarence T.C. Ching Athletic Building is our newest building on campus, completed in 2017. It houses a full-size weight room, which you can see behind me, open space and mats for our wrestling and judo, as well as cheer practices, 
And adjacent to the building, we have batting cages for our baseball team. Like our gymnasium, it is open to students for use before, during, and after school for various classes and for individual workouts. The Clarence C.C. Ching building is located at the very back of our campus on the other side of our multi-purpose athletic field. Next to the T.C. Ching building is our band room where students in the tradition of big band programs learn the use of percussion, wind, and brass instruments. Aside from athletics, our students have the option to join a variety of clubs and activities on campus, including band, speech and debate, robotics, key club, Leo club, National Honor Society, campus ministry, music ministry, chess club, Hawaiian club, and a variety of other clubs that vary from year to year to fit student interests. If you have a hobby or interest that is not represented in one of the clubs at our school, then you can even form your own club if you have, as all you need is a teacher advisor and to fill out and submit a sanctioning form to our student government for approval. Some of our clubs will be present in our Zoom breakout rooms following this portion of the program. Back to you, Back to Mr. You, Mr. Lemos. Lemos. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amber and Johnny. All right, parents, um, that pretty much concludes the formal part of our uh, open house this evening. But what we have next is I kind of like to explain what's going to take place for the next 40 minutes. Uh, we have two breakout sessions uh, from seven, uh, 6.45 to 7.05 with a five minute interval. And then a, another breakout session from 7.10 to 7.30. There are members of our various academic departments, some of our uh, extracurricular activities and programs, some of our clubs, our athletic program, our band program. They have what we call virtual booths. And uh, I believe I sent to all of our families an email link where you can actually click onto the Zoom meeting rooms and meet one-on-one -on -one with some of the members of our various departments, ask questions, get some information. And this is a very informal event where you can kind of come and go as you please. You can enter one room, ask questions, get some information, leave that room, go to another room. Um, so that's scheduled to start in about five minutes. Uh, we're a little early, but uh, if you'd like, you can actually take a break, you know, maybe, Take a, take a break and then at seven, uh, 6.45, you are welcome to log on to any of those rooms. The links were in an email I sent to you and I believe they're also on our website. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this formal portion of the uh, Damien Open House and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you and good night.